I'm gonna mix some hydrate and recover in my hard side hydration. The roads are uh, they're pretty muddy. Luckily, it's kind of frozen, so it's not so bad. But if I try to move during the day, I think it's gonna be pretty sloppy. Let's see how it goes. But I got uh, I got chains and I got one of these traction tracks. Hopefully, I do not have to use it. But I'm trying to be as prepared as I can be. So, I don't know. It's about 33 degrees. Got the marmot all tied down the best I can. I failed to bring extra stakes, so use the options I had around me, and I think it'll be all right. All right, I'm getting my sleep system set up. Got a nice pillow, extra insulation. Got a climate pad underneath. I'm trying the Rab Mythic 600. A 10 degree bag used it before but i haven't used it in these temperatures 28 right now we'll give it a shot I'm getting some uh slumber sleepy cider going and just getting something warm to drink and then to go to bed all right finally getting out here the roads are going to be pretty nasty I try to go to some routes that I've done in the past and I'm out here alone and I know it's gonna be worse once it heats up. So turn around and this is this road I went on here is gonna be dicey as well, but it's not as bad. So hopefully I don't get stuck. I'm trying to be safe uh, because I am alone, but uh, man, the temperature is nice. Like there's no wind. Everything on the forecast said crazy wind. So I'm super glad I came down gonna try a new spot I've never been to over here and see if I find some tracks uh, and try not to worry too much about the the roads turning too muddy but we'll see snow is frozen not, not going in really Just staying on top Got some tracks through here shoots across that way but yeah, they could be anywhere. It's always a mix. I found them in the low stuff and I found them in higher up. Uh, it seems like I personally have found bigger ones higher up. But I know people that find huge ones out in the flats. So they really can be just about anywhere. So there is a water source that way. Some years it has water, some it doesn't. But <clears throat> my good friend Adam... Uh, he found a good four point really not too far from it a few years ago. Like, it's crazy. Just depends on what's, where you're at. Just coming through. We got some tracks through here. I love when it starts opening up like this. You can sit here in glass under everything and just kind of look around, take your time. I think that's the key is just not rush. There's been so many times where I stop. Take my uh, glass and out, and then I just take a second to just look around, and boom, there's one I would have just walked by. Ooh, jeez. Get me a little deeper. I'm working my down. Nothing on this first loop. Uh, looks a little sketchy. I'm go this way, maybe. Not a lot of shine either. I think I'll probably head back to the car and go try another spot. All right, new spot, higher elevation, a lot more snow. Um, kind of parked up high, so I'm gonna have to climb to get out of here, but uh, I think it's worth a shot. I found some other sheds down in this area in the past, so 
Hopefully I can glass something up and make it worth going down into the hole. All right, hiking into another spot. No, uh, no sheds, obviously. Nothing, nothing at all. But I've found sheds in here before in this area, so hoping I get into some a little bit more sign and some antlers on the ground is what I'm hoping. All right, finally sitting down to have a little snack. Weather starting to kick up a little bit. It's pretty cloudy, honestly. You might get a little bit of snow. Wind is starting to come up a little bit, so not too bad. I threw back on my uh, base layers, my zip offs, and I'm gonna keep walking after I take a little rest. I think that's just washer fluid. They hit pretty dang hard. Sliding around, it was nasty. I had to keep going, I got sucked in though. I hit the, hit the side way up there. Jeez. That's what I hit pretty hard. Well, I uh, pretty much wrecked my car. Uh, it was muddy. It was sloppy. I was really trying to be cautious. It got bad. I blew through it the first time and then just I could tell it's not going to get any better. So I turned around and just braced and said a prayer and just try to get through the slop. Uh, ended up getting sucked into the ditch and I'm just trying to like correct it and it just wouldn't work. My back end was uh, coming out and I hit the driver's side into the ditch i kept it floored the whole time trying to get momentum to keep out and not get stuck i would have just paused and kind of freaked out i would have just got stuck in the ditch and who knows if i would have got any help so i gunned it kept it going and somehow my little subaru climbed out of that thing but uh gonna need a new bumper new light which would come with the bumper i guess new uh, windshield fluid reservoir which I actually already have one of those because I picked it up at a pick apart a while ago, but because it was already leaking. But it hit hard. The uh, the straightness, the alignment does not seem like it's on. Seems like it's pulling to the left pretty hard. I was worried, yeah, that I wouldn't wasn't going to be able to drive away from it because I knew it was going to hit hard, and I just gunned it and just come on, come on, trying to pull it out, and it just sucked me right in and hit and then got out. So. Uh, I'm still being cautious out here. Uh, I went to another spot. The roads are really bad that way. So I'm parked where it's safe. And when I'm done, I will drive out. Shouldn't have any issues. But, uh, I'm going to go try one more time to find some sheds. Hopefully it'll all be worth it. For the record, I am still having a good time. And I'm still pumped to be out here. Blame about my car. Lame that I hit hit the ditch, but I'm grateful I'm not still stuck. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna find something. The crazy story has to lead to some awesome sheds, something to bring up, other than a beat up bumper. All right, pretty cool experience. A uh, bunch of deer, five bucks. There's a forky that didn't have one side, and then uh, four other bucks that were awesome to see nothing crazy there was one that was really big four on, on one side like tall like overly tall and uh his other side was like a two or something at first i thought he had shed the side because his, his right side was like nothing but uh they're out for me and yeah too early for browns but uh at least i know where to go i mean generally when I come back in a few weeks, hopefully, temperature started to drop pretty good. It's cold. Successful day, man. Look at that sunset. Ugh. It's awesome. Oh, Decided to go hop in bed. <laughs> End of the day. Just found an arrow and a broadhead. Just on the ground. And, uh... 
And I'm, I'm like, I could just take the road all the way back, but I'm like, no, nah, let's go off the side of the road and find a shed. <laughs> Bro, yes. <laughs> oh gosh, this vehicle just passed me too. Probably shed hunters. <laughs> Something like an end of the day shed. Pretty good size. I like it. The road is like 50 yards behind me. My car is about 300 yards that way. That's why you hop off the road. Don't take the easy route. Get out, bust through the brush, and get lucky. It'll pay off sometimes. See, I told you something good was gonna happen tonight. We did good today. Got some yellow curry for dinner. Getting everything charged up. Got my Doritos. Might have a jello cup in there somewhere. I don't know. Somewhere in there. Ready to relax. All right, I made it through the night but my tire is flat. Um, not sure if it broke the bead while I, when I hit the hit the ditch or what, but uh, I got a compressor, it's a cheap one. First time using it, I hope it can get it up to where I need to be and I wanna continue to take down camp and then if I get enough air, then I'm gonna hit the road. Well, the pump failed within about five minutes. <laughs> so I'm trying to get a hold of a friend who has some people in north of here see if they can come give me uh, a pump on the tire all right my uncle is going to come out and take care of the tire get it all pumped up and i'll hit the road and and watch it on the way home sorry about the sun but grateful he's not too far away and able to come and help me out but dang i checked the spare the spare was flat uh so a couple things i should have had a better compressor and i had should have checked my spare to make sure it was good to go, but I will learn my lesson. So I'm going to take a quick walk around to see if I see anything close to camp and then head back and then hopefully the tire stays filled and I can make it back to Vegas. Fingers crossed. 